Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Mr. Tyler Perry is what we all call a media mogul, and he has made headlines last year with opening up his amazing Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. And now he's making new waves with his new movie, A Fall From Grace. Recently, mm. we sat down with the Tyler Perry and the cast of the Netflix hit to discuss what it took to create A Fall From Grace. Let's take a look. My office has looked at your case up and down, and we think a plea is a good idea. That way you can be near your son. I know that's important to you, yes? So my purpose here today is to find out if it's still your intention to plead guilty. Ms. Waters, is it your intention to plead guilty? I want to go to court. Crystal, yeah. my God, you did your thing. Thanks. It was so amazing to see you in a leading role. You know, we love you from the half yes, and half knowledge. We you. really do. So how was it for you leading the charge in this movie? I was a little nervous because of that responsibility, but I stayed true to my responsibility to my folks anyway. And I'm, when I say my folks, I'm like anybody who's ever had that experience happen. It All it does is solidify the truth I look for, mm -hmm. you know, and then say, all right, let's go. And then I hope I honored the things that we experience as women yes. by that story. However, it affected men and women Absolutely. because I was told after the, after the screening, the first person to tell me something was a friend that said, what you doing telling my story up there? Ooh, so it had happened to them. So I love that it, it was, that was a guy. That, that was a guy. guy. Yeah. That was a guy. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't even realize I was sitting beside you and I was <laughs> like a crazy person throughout the whole film. Oh, no, she's been talking about I've been talking about you. <laughs> Y'all been talking said, over her. Well, my right favorite thing, she would lean over. It was like, I was sitting it was, it was the most wonderful, magical experience ever. Oh, when somebody yeah. just, they kind of lean over you like this. She's talking about, she need to not be doing that. <laughs> and then I said, there's one, one thing, when, when it's the narrative, like, I don't know, I was just dumb. She's like, yes, you were. <laughs> Yes, you are. And I'm just like, get in it. I loved every moment of that. I gotta tell you, I was, when, I was so mad at some point in the movie, oh my God, when that bat came about. You can't tell too much. Don't tell too much. Don't tell too much. It's a bat that came from out of somewhere. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Vampire. Yes, yes. But what was the most challenging thing for you to bring the script to life? You're going to laugh because the drama was not the most challenging the responsibility of also showing the layers of women, but our, our sexuality, we're yeah. still open to that. Mm -hmm. That love scene was mm -hmm. the hardest mm -hmm. thing for me. I don't know that if you remember, amazing, I, I ducked over. I well, because I think it was you or somebody behind me to my, all right, yes. <laughs> and I was, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it, but I, I definitely wanted it to be uh, beautiful and sexy. Um, and yeah, and Tyler, I think just, he made me feel beautiful once I saw it on screen and saw that filter of all those things around the bed. So I think I represented us well. You did well. Us well. You did well. Well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, you, my dear Brisha, um, we've seen you in a lot of funny roles or more funnier movies. This is a more dramatic role for you. What if you go free? You can't do that. Yeah, I know I can't if you don't let me fight. What did you do to prepare for the role? Well, I come from theater. You know, I'm theatrically trained and went to college, all that stuff. And when I first started out in Hollywood, you know, when I started working, I say it on stage and stand up, but I was the crime pregnant teenager who gets their baby taken away from Child Protective Services. That was my thing, you know, something about my face just screamed sorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> and I, I did it well. I did it on several shows. And thank God for Love That Girl so I could be funny. But this was an ode to that. This was a slice back to what I love yeah. as well, mm -hmm. drama. And uh, I was so thankful that Tyler was able to see me in acrimony and good. see the work that I did. And Amazing. He, so oh, good. Yeah. He chose me from there. You know, he didn't yes. even really see me as a comedic actress. And so I'm just so honored that I got to work with the masters of the craft mm -hmm. and, you know, really develop Jasmine as much as I could. And yeah. that you guys really love her. Has there ever been a time in your life where it just seemed like you really believed in something and everyone just kept knocking you oh, down, God. knocking you down? You just felt like you had to persevere to make it happen. Doing drama, doing something different than people try to yeah. categorize. Being black in America. Being black in America. <laughs> oh my God. That part. Amen. 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 And being a black actress in Hollywood, people pigeonhole you in every way, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I and so, I just want to break out and just go, leave me there. Yeah. Leave me there. Leave me there. Leave me there. <laughs> 
I just, you know, I, when I start writing a script, because I've done this Boy Meets Girl, Girl Gives a Heartbreak. I've done it many times, but this time I wanted to put it in a thriller format. And as I was writing it, I saw a documentary on Gideon's Army, we call Gideon's Army, which is about the public defender's office. And we're like, wow, what, what a great uh, layer to this. Yeah. And then there was something else that was happening in the news at the time. I thought, wow, that really happened? And that's where all the twists, I can't say too much because all the plot twists it's and turns. Oh my God. You, there were so many. You'll never be able to figure it out. I know, not at <laughs> all. I'm not going anywhere. So this is what you want to do. You want to talk to me like this in front of your friend. Her friend. And you remember that. The, the best part of it for me was not judging her. <laughs> yes. But not judging her so that I could uh, understand her mm -hmm. and portray her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to say one thing about you again in that moment <laughs> without saying anything. It was so good. Some people um, <laughs> knew what was going to happen. Oh. That you knew you I had your back. I was like, all right, for you better guess it, whatever. We high five it, whatever. guessing wrong all the way to we, the We high five it, whatever. And then. It's like, girl, they're lesbians. Wait, but then no. it, <laughs> but then, oh, 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 then it wasn't that. Yeah. And all I saw was. I, I, she looked at that screen like the screen had betrayed her. Because <laughs> she couldn't figure it out. It was bad. Because she couldn't yes. so yes. good. I'm telling you. Which brings me to my next question, Tyler. <laughs> Why was it so important for you to give so many changes, turns arounds, ups and downs, twists and turns? I mean, quite unpredictable. Well, people think they know me. You know, uh -huh. they think they know me. They think they know what I'm going to do. They right. think they know what's next. And because when the trailer came out, I said, oh, Tyler Perry, but here we go again. Same old, same old. <laughs> so it's always good to, to switch things up and be like, like, you thought you knew where I was going, but I got something for you. It was good. Yeah, thank oh, you. Good. Tyler, how did the Netflix come together, the Netflix conjunction come together? Well, I had shot, we had shot the film, and I was I was going to uh, take it to a couple of different places, but Netflix called and said, let us see it. Yeah. They loved it, and working with them has been a dream. And yeah. what, what I'm most excited about is that everybody gets to see the movie at the same time all around the world. So yes. that, that, to me, is really awesome. My first time ever having that opportunity. Oh, that was oh, real good. I appreciate I was like, that. Yeah. Thank, Thank you guys so for good. sitting down with us. It yes. was amazing. Sarah, I wish we could have you for another 40 minutes. Ooh, <laughs> all of you. But thank you guys Thanks. so Thanks. much. Can I just you. slide in one other question? You can't question. slide in another I, question. I Come on, one other question. Is it, it, it yeah. going to be a sequel? Hmm. You know, same thing happened after Acrimony. Everybody wanted a sequel. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll mm. see. We'll see. <laughs> all right. All right, okay. then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you all for having us. Listen, mm -hmm. you can catch a fall from grace right now on Netflix, and the conversations always continue on social media platforms at Sister Circle TV. Yes, yeah, great job, guys. Yeah, it was so good. It was very good. <laughs>